rather than later. This is a great time expression that you're going to add to your vocabulary today. And this expression is going to help you sound really fluent, advanced, and natural. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now let's dive in with this video. Sooner rather than later. That's the time reference that you're going to add to your vocabulary today. Now, this might look a little bit familiar, especially if you watched my video yesterday where I taught you how to use the time reference sooner or later. So you need to know, first of all, that sooner or later, the lesson I taught you yesterday, and today's lesson on sooner rather than later, these two are very similar, related. You can even use them in the same conversation, but they aren't the same thing. So you, after this video, you definitely want to review sooner or later and make sure you understand the difference. With that said, Let's talk about how you can use sooner rather than later. Now, of course, this is a time reference and we use it as a time reference for an unspecified time in the future. So we don't know exactly when, that's unclear, unspecified time in the future. But here's the deal. You can think of this as it's closer to now, immediate future, than it is later or a more distant future. So there's really an emphasis on soon. In that case, you may also think of it as as quickly as possible. But remember, exactly when is not clear. Let's take a look at an example. I could say, I need to update my website sooner rather than later. Of course, by saying this, I'm letting you know that I don't exactly know when I'll update my website, but I want it to be in the near future. I want it to be as close to now as possible. I want it to be as quickly as possible. So you might be wondering, why not just say soon? I want to update my website soon. Well, you can, you can definitely say soon. I would say there's just a subtle difference in meaning, a subtle difference in tone almost. When I say sooner rather than later, I would say I'm putting more emphasis on the immediate future. And it's almost a stronger statement than simply saying soon. When I hear sooner rather than later, I expect that person is taking action. That person is doing everything they can to make that happen, okay? But when I just hear someone say, Ah, I'll do it soon. I don't get this sense that the person is taking immediate action. So in that sense, sooner rather than later is a strong statement. You get the sense that, whoa, things are start, gonna start to happen pretty quickly. So keep that in mind because you want to reserve this for when you really want something to happen in the near future as quickly as possible. So let's take a look at how you could have this almost as a conversation. Let's say your boss asks you, how's the proposal going? And you reply back with a simple answer and you say, good, just working on the deliverables. 
So a section within the proposal, okay? Good, just working on the deliverables. Now your boss, to apply some urgency, your boss could say, we need to get this to the client sooner rather than later. Now, when I hear that, I'm going to start working faster because I know this is a priority and I know there's some urgency involved and I know my boss is pushing me. That's almost a subtle way of him pushing me to get me to finish this proposal. Now, like I said in my video lesson yesterday, I taught you how to use sooner or later. Now, a lot of students commented using this expression, which is great. I love reading all the comments. It makes me really happy. So if you want to make me happy, leave a comment on the video. I really love reading them. Now, one of the students, Lamar, was practicing sooner or later and posted sooner or later, I'll buy a new car. Now, I can take that example, it's a great example, and I can apply some urgency to it by using sooner rather than later. And maybe I could say, I need to buy a new car sooner rather than later. So when I hear this, I almost think that there's something wrong with your car. Maybe your car isn't going to last very long. And because of that, there's some urgency involved. So keep that in mind when you use sooner rather than later. So now you know that it's a time reference in the future with emphasis on the near future, although it's still unspecific and we don't know exactly when but we do know there's some urgency involved. Now, grammatically, there are many different ways that you could form a sentence using sooner rather than later. Generally, you might use this with things that you want. I want something sooner rather than later. I need to do something sooner rather than later. So a want, a need, a should, I should do this sooner rather than later. Those are three verbs to get you started on forming sentences, but keep in mind there are many different ways grammatically that you can add this to your speech. But for now, just practice those three. With that said, it's time for you to make me really happy and you know how you're going to do that, right? By leaving a comment practicing this expression. So I just gave you three verbs, need, want, and should. So why don't you try writing three different comments? That will get you practicing sooner rather than later and feeling really confident adding this to your vocabulary. So remember, form three sentences with sooner rather than later, one with need, want, and should, and leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, look at you expanding your vocabulary and sounding super natural at the same time. That's awesome. Make sure you leave those comments. It will make me really happy and it will also make me really happy if you subscribe. So make sure you do that and I'll see you next time. Bye.